What's up guys, it's Mr. Slin, and today I'm going to teach you how to install an FPS config. Now, first things first, do you need an FPS config? If you have a beast computer, probably not. But if you play TF2 and you take the game seriously and you want more frames because you think it'll improve your performance, definitely, definitely install an FPS config. I recommend an FPS config for anyone who's looking to play competitive TF2, whether you have you know, a beast computer, an i7, or if you have, you know, a really, really toaster crappy computer, right? I, I think that everyone should use it because one, it'll improve your FPS, which can help in team fights, which can help in certain situations where you want your game to be as smooth as possible so that way you can consistently move your mouse back and forth across the screen as consistently as possible. And you're also going to want an FPS config because you can use commands to remove some of the, the clutter from your screen. And if you remove the clutter, that'll allow you to have a easier time just seeing the action, seeing what's going on in the game. So there's a bunch of popular FPS configs. Of course, the one that started it all is called Moore's FPS Config, and I could not find it on the internet. It looks like Moore took his website down, but I had to find it on a game FAQ website. I'll put the links to all this stuff in the description below. But yeah, this is the original FPS config. Then this guy named Chris, who played for Fackle Brigade, he was like a pro player who developed this FPS config and it was the gold standard of FPS configs for a very long time. I still use Chris's FPS config to this day. Now there's two newer versions of the FPS config that you can look at. One is called Cowmanglia's FPS config and the other one is called Rhapsody's. They're both pretty comparable and people have done benchmarks and different tests. I'm not really into that stuff. I don't want to make it too complicated. So I just use good old fashioned Chris's config. But if I'm going to recommend one for you guys to use, I might recommend that you use use Calmanglia's FPS config because he seems to have his act together. This is last updated about five months ago and Rhapsody's was last updated really recently, like a couple weeks ago, within the last couple weeks. So both these are good options. I'd say you should probably install one of these too, but uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to install Calmanglia's config today. Uh, just looking at the benchmarks really quick, and I don't know, really know how reliable these are, but Calmanglia did a bunch of um, benchmarks and on Chris's max frames, which is the, the maximum FPS that you can get with uh, Chris's FPS config, he got 202 frames per second, and Calmanglia's got 229 FPS per second. So about, you know, I don't know, a little bit over 10% increase. I mean, 10% is still significant, but I have a really good computer, so I really don't care. But for many of you guys out there who are watching, you should, you know, consider inst installing an FPS config, and this is a way you can do it. Um, there's also, of course, uh, TF2 Mate, which is a website you can go to, and it'll build the config for you so you could just select which fps config you want to use and then you can literally it'll just you can bind all the keys out here and what kind of crosshairs you want to use and a bunch of cool stuff and it'll automatically create the config for you to use so that's one option for you as well it's kind of a one size fits all but i'm just going to teach you guys how to literally just install the fps config if that's all you wanted so what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, computer and under here you'll go to your Oh, look at all these SSDs I just bought. Oh, I could still record all this YouTube footage. I'm so stoked. Um, you're going to go to Program Files. You're going to go to Steam and then Steam Apps and Common and Team Fortress 2 and then the TF folder. So what you would think is that you put it in the CFG folder, but actually you want to put it in the Custom folder. So you're going to go to Custom and then you're going to create a folder if you don't have one already. I already have one, but I'm going to pretend like I don't have one and I'm going to call this one, uh, if your name was John, I would call it John Custom. So it doesn't really matter what you call it. You just go in here and then you create another folder called CFG. Now you're going to need a CFG file to copy. So what I recommend you do is go back into the TF folder, go into the CFG folder, just copy one of the files. I just pick, uh, I just pick config. Okay. Let's grab this one here. Then I'll go back into my custom stuff. If I'm going too fast, just look up here at the top. <laughs> I went under custom John custom stuff CFG, and then I just pasted the CFG file. That way, the CFG file is the right type of file that you want, the CFG file. You're going to rename this file to auto exec, and then you're going to open that baby up and just delete everything that's in there. Okay, so once that's all deleted, you can save that, and you're going to grab one of these desired FPS configs. So we're going to go to Calmanglia's, and I'm going to assume that you have a mid-quality PC also known as max stability. That sounds like a good one. You click on this one here, you're just gonna copy all this stuff. You're just gonna take all of it, all these commands, and you're just gonna throw it in your auto exec and save. Now, uh, I'm going to teach you a little bit about what's inside of here. So auto exec, what it does is whenever you start up your TF2, it'll automatically execute these commands. So every time you start up the game, this is perfect for you. Um, 
then you're going to read, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can read, a bunch of things you can customize. And if you're really into it, you can go ahead and read all these things. Um, if you're just interested in installing the config, of course, uh, you're going to start by copying one of these two, either full screen or windowed. I like to use, uh, well, I recommend you use full screen. So let's grab this one here. Then you're going to right click Steam and go to library, right click Team Fortress 2, go to properties and under, under launch options, you're going to just put this baby in here. And under width, you set that as the width of your monitor. So I'm gonna do 1920. And under height is the height of my monitor, which is 1080. So I'm gonna click okay, click close, and then start up TF2. What you're gonna do is, I'm not gonna do it right here for you. So just follow along with me here, but you're gonna start up TF2 and then immediately close it. And what that's going to do is set your DirectX level to 80 or 81 technically, um, DirectX level eight. And once you've set your DirectX level, you can delete this part of the our, this part of the command from your launch options. So you only need to do this once, you know, put the DX level 81 in there, start it up, and then immediately take it off and you don't need it anymore. And that's how you install the FPS config. Then you'd be completely set at this point. But what you can also do if you want is you can go into this area and read about more of the FPS config and how it ex exactly works. And you can actually customize some of the settings here. So what these little slash marks are, are what's called commenting. And when you comment a line, it means that the when the game goes to run all these commands, it'll skip these lines. So that's why he's writing stuff in here commented. So you can, it'll just skip this out. These aren't real commands. Once you get into these areas, like this, this area is not commented. This area is not commented down here. That's when it actually starts executing those commands. And what he he's done is gone through and given you a bunch of different options. So based on your connection speed, you could go through one of these connections. Or if you want to turn on sprays, for example, if I want to turn on sprays, I would uh, comment out the section right here that says disable sprays. And then I would delete these comments in front of this section right here that says enable sprays. And I could do things like, you know, enabling shadows, which I recommend you do in competitive because it just looks better and um, sometimes the walls glitch out and you can see people through the walls with their shadows. Uh, this area over here, um, you can disable facial features, which is something that gives you like, I think it just gives you like a very minimal amount of FPS, but uh, it makes your characters look really freaky because they don't have eyes anymore. Um, ragdolls, I recommend you disable because uh, when you kill somebody, their ragdoll just flies across the screen and that can be very visually distracting. And when you disable ragdolls, when you kill them, they just straight up disappear from your screen altogether. Um, Gibbs, which is another thing that just is a little bit, just one more distraction that you don't need. And then all the graphical stuff is down here and you can go ahead and read about some of these different commands and what they do. But generally speaking, it's pretty much all set up for you when you copy paste this in there. All you have to do is close it, save, and next time you start up TF2, you'll be good to go. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that with the recent matchmaking updates, Valve has been forcing people to use DX level 9 and also been forcing everyone to use their FPS config. So like if even if you disabled Gibbs and even if you disabled Ragdolls, it would still force those things on your game every time you go into matchmaking mode. So unfortunately for those of you guys who have really bad computers and you want to play matchmaking, TF2 just isn't really optimized for that quite yet, but I think that the developers are working on that hopefully and they'll have a good fix that people with any, you know, computer could potentially play matchmaking with decent FPS. But as for right now, I think you should still install an FPS config. It'll help you out when you're playing in those public servers, when you're playing in pugs, when you're playing in lobbies. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below or on the subreddit and I'll catch you guys on the next video.